My history of the Y goes back to when I was about 10 years old. I met kids from other areas, was so drawn to that community, I ended up leaving my Fairview Park Kiwanis Baseball League and played in the YMCA League. Our children participated in preschool programs there and they learned to swim there. They learned to meet people who were different than they were there. I was an active participant at the YMCA when I was a kid. I think as you grow up, get older, and look back in life, you realize what it was for you. It was not just a hangout, but it was more than that. That's one of the organizations that I remember helping to save my life. You can't be what you don't see. And at that YMCA, I would see other people that look like me that were professionals. It changed my life, so why wouldn't I want to make sure that something exists that can make impacts for future generations? The YMCA has such a strong mission of fulfilling people through spirit, mind, and body. When I think about what inspires me about the WISE mission, I think of volunteers and their passion for the organization. They're not just showing up, but they're engaged in something that's pretty special. The YMCA mission, which is centuries old, has sustained itself for a reason. The Y is a cradle-to-grave organization. People are impacted throughout that entire age spectrum. It's just a great community feel when you walk into the Y, and I'm always interested to see all the people from all different kinds of backgrounds that all participate in one happy place. Particularly been gratified by the expansion and commitment we've made to the Y Haven program, which is our drug rehabilitation and addiction program, and the senior program. So you go to any YMCA in the country, from about 10 to 3, it's flourishing with active and engaged seniors. I'm always touched when I walk by the daycare center and you watch those busy moms and dads drop their kids off where they know they're going to be okay. Dealing with at-risk children and some after-school programs is critical. Not just playing basketball, but like having art programs and personal growth programs. Having productive things for young people to do goes a long way. In every neighborhood across the city, the YMCA has been seen as a safe haven for families. I think that's why they've been a strong asset and a strong pillar of our community for generations. Cleveland has been rich in history with support from its corporate leadership, and nobody's been more engaged than the folks at Sherwin-Williams. Henry Sherwin, one of the founders of Sherwin-Williams, along with one of his senior executives, Sir Reno Fenn, who were integrally involved as board members of the Y. We wouldn't be here today if it wouldn't have been people like Henry Sherwin and Sir Reno P. Fenn. And what's really interesting now is how Sherwin-Williams continues to support us with their volunteer leadership and their dedication to the community. I think we talk a lot about what Sherwin has done for the Y. I don't think we talk enough about what the YMCA has done for Sherwin. That's been a two-way street. It's such a wide breadth of people that the Y impacts. The Y is the epicenter of the answer. That's what's really, really cool about having the opportunity that I have to be able to sit on this board. Having a company like Sherwin will be a great example for other corporations to step up and invest in every fabric of our great city. We're happy to support the Y because we also think that a healthy and thriving community is best for everyone. I truly believe it is important for the YMCA to have the support of community partners. I feel like we're one of the bridges that connect people to actual resources in our community. When we have organizations like the YMCA that serve and support so many families, I think it's true to say that when the YMCA rises, the community rises with it. And that's why we should all care about organizations that have given so much to the fabric of this region.